I think this one girl on TikTok really found the glitch in the matrix. If you stand in front of a fucking mirror, look at yourself, say, I am you, you are me, this is my body. Stare at yourself for a couple seconds, it gets weird as shit. walking I'm walking look this plane is it moving it's not moving but it sounds like it's moving hey yeah, but I still smell of kindness deep Du nicht der Sonne weg. Alle, wohin gucken die denn? Da ist doch die Sonne. Sehr komisch. Check this glitch this in the matrix. I'm gonna have a panic attack because did you see his nose? I'm not going crazy. Oh my god, wait, stop it. There's nothing there. There's not a grate there. There's not Wait, a WTF there. how? Where did this bitch just come from? What the fuck? He just came out of nothing! Nah, I'm Don't out. Run! Dancer's hat reappears after he throws it.
Lady drives by a crowd of people that are completely frozen. Helicopter caught flying without its blades moving at all. A mi mamá le ardía la oreja, así que hicimos el truquito para saber quién estaba hablando de ella. Intentamos varias veces y al principio no acertaba. Cuando la lapicera queda dentro es porque pensó en la persona incorrecta. No, no tampoco. No, Esto no siempre me... quise grabarlo porque me parece increíble. Aquí acertó. Espero que ahora que lo tengo grabado no deje de funcionar. Is this proof that we are in the Matrix? On Monday has been found. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti. What a shock. But I'm glad that they found her. In October of 2019, a tech CEO named Aaron Valenti had plans to travel from Utah to Los Angeles, then to San Francisco, California for a business trip. She had plans to attend a tech conference and workshop in Orange County, California. After the business conference, her intentions were to travel to Silicon Valley to catch up with old-time friends and former colleagues. Erin was a beautiful young woman, and at 33 years old, she was the founder and CEO of a tech company called Tinker Ventures. Tinker Ventures is known for designing, developing, and scaling technology products for iOS, Android, and the web. Previously, before Aaron's death, Tinker Ventures had endorsed Brain Machine Interface Technology, a brain computer interface, also known as a brain machine interface, is a direct communication pathway between the brain's electrical activity and an external device, most commonly a computer or a robotic limb. When doing my research into BCI, I came across a video of Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan podcast discussing how this type of technology can really help people that are disabled or have been hurt. You'd insert the electrode threads very carefully into the, the brain, you know, stitch it up and, um, and you wouldn't even know that somebody has it. It can interface basically anywhere, in, anywhere in your brain. Um, so it could be something that, uh, you know, helps cure, say, uh, eyesight, like give you, returns your eyesight, even if you've like lost your optic nerve type of thing. Uh, could, really? Could, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, in principle, fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain. We could potentially have some superhumans running around. That eventually you're gonna have to cut the whole top of someone's head off and put a new top sure. with a whole bunch of wires if you want to get, you know, the real turbocharged version. If you want to go with full AI symbiosis, you'll probably want to do something like that. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> 
I'm so scared of that, but so excited about it at the same time. I am very curious on how Erin Valenti planned on using this type of technology in her web development company, especially because none of her clients at the time and currently were even in the biotech field.